For Ultimate Team Coins, check out GameGoldTrader.com. Their link is in the description below, a very fast and reliable service. And if you use the discount code NEPO at checkout, you get a discount on your coins. They also offer PSN, MSP, and other Game Gold as well. What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to a very special squad builder. We have got, as you can see by the title and on the screen, a transfer squad builder. Every player in the team and on the bench is a transferred player. And more importantly, we have got the Man United version of Falcao. I paid 1,050,000 coins for him. By the time you're watching this, he's probably worth about 600, 500k. So I'm going to lose massive coins on it to get this to you. I packed the uh, the Loic Remy Chelsea version and the Danny Welbeck Arsenal version, who I'm going to play at Cam. I've also got Sanchez and Montero here at the left midfield spot. We've got Fabregas in at the CDM spot, and then we've got uh, we've got uh, sorry uh, Sanya, Mangala, Rojo. Felipe Luis and Ospina in goal. And then on the bench, we've got the Everton, Eto, Fernando, Chelsea, Diego Costa and Drogba, Man City, Lampard, Swansea, Gomez, the uh, Southampton, Pele, and the uh, West Bromwich Albion, Jolien, Lescott. If there's any other transfer teams you want to see me do, guys, be sure to link them to me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Nepenthes. If we could get a thumbs up for having the 90-rated Falcao as soon as possible that would be much appreciated let's try and get this over 5k likes but for now guys i'm going to do this like i would normally do the best team in fifa so i'm going to go ahead and play five games and then review the squad and i will be right back okay guys as we go into the gameplay as you can see by the screen this team was bad and and it was obviously going to be bad as well because i was playing fabregas at cdm i was playing welbeck at cam I had uh, Rojo, who's not the best defender in defence, and I had Ospina in goal, who was just really, really bad. On top of that, Montero at left mid is terrible. Like, literally, I I'm not even kidding, the worst left midfielder. I thought because he had good pace and good dribbling, he would have been decent to play with, but he just didn't get involved at all. And when I say not at all, I mean, like, he got zero goals and zero assists in the five games that I played with him. The attack was pretty decent. Um, Remy is always strong in FIFA, and he, I think he got three goals and four assists for me in the five games that he played, and Falcao actually ended up picking up five goals in the five games. Um, but it wasn't fun for me to play with this team. I got stomped on like three times and I won two of the games. But um, in general, this team just really wasn't fun, uh, which is why I've given it a, a two-star rating across the midfield and defence because they were woeful. You know, when, when you're talking about transferred squads, there were so many other players I could have put in this squad. I am going to be building a decent transferred squad um, in the next couple of days with the likes of Di Maria, Balotelli, um, and, and maybe some of the better defenders that are out there. Uh, maybe... I don't even know. Maybe like Luke Shaw at left back. Um, there's a lot of good attackers that transferred. Not so many great defenders. And it, it did turn out to be a bit of a problem, especially with this team. Um, I, I, this isn't the best team in FIFA series because this is just a squad builder. Like, I, you know, I, I would never recommend this team. I would never suggest to you guys, hey, you should definitely go and waste your coins on this team. Um, you know, Falcao right now, at the time of making this video, I bought him for 1,050,000 coins. He's actually selling right now at the time of uh, recording this part of the audio for around 1.2 million coins. So I turned out... If, if my Falcao sells right now, I made about 150,000 profit on him, which was way more than I expected. I expected to lose like three or 400. I thought, you know, he'll get packed a lot of times and his price will drop down. But um, it's good to have him in the Premier League. Um, even though I'm an Arsenal fan and, uh, you know, I, obviously I would have preferred him at Arsenal should we have had the chance. You know, I know we did have the chance to sign him and for whatever reason it didn't happen. Uh, I, I would have loved him at Arsenal, but it's good to see the world's best players coming back to the Premier League. You know, right right now, like BBVA seems to be taking everyone, and, and I literally mean everyone. Um, you know, with the exception of the odd person in the Bundesliga and the odd person in the BPL, the, the the BBVA has like the world's top stars, and it's good to see one of them coming back to the BPL. Um, it, you know, it's nice to see Falcao. I can't wait to see him play, it, like you know, on on Soccer Saturday or whatever. You know, I can't wait to see him in action in the Premier League. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see actually as well the the Chelsea boys up front. You know, Costa has obviously already had a great start, but seeing Drogba and um, Remy is going to be uh, a lot of fun. You know, there, there's a lot of positive transfers this season. Um, and I think the Premier League is going to be a very exciting season. But anyway, guys, if there are any full, not necessarily full transfer teams, but let's say six minimum players for transfer teams that you like the squads of, go into Foothead, build them, guys, send them to me on twitter.com slash Nepenthes, and I will do some of the best team in FIFAs on transferred squads. It doesn't have to be BPL transferred squads. It can be for any league, 
anywhere. But for now, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. So if we could get a thumbs up, that would be fantastic. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.